Hey guys, I'm Tyler. Today we're going to build this beautiful flag, certificate, and challenge coin display case out of cherry. This build is actually divided into two different videos. The first video is residing on Jay Bates from Jay's custom creation channel, and the second part is gonna be on mine. Jay was in town and we decided we wanted to do a little project, and this is what we came up with. So, if you would like to see how we started this build, go hit up Jay's channel, links in the description, and I'll pop something up over here somewhere on the screen. And subscribe to Jay if you're not already, you're definitely missing out. Everybody back? Awesome. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, it would be awesome if you could do that. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss when I upload a new video. So, I am going to take over the build now. We are going to add the triangular top. I'm going to make the trim that holds the glass in place. Put the glass in. Put the felt into the display case area and add some finish. Let's get started. Got started with my section of the build by taking some of the boards that were previously playing down and cutting them to the proper width for the triangular top that holds the flag. Added some miters using the miter saw. Now these miters are all 45 degrees and you'll see how they're connected at the bottom of the triangle in just a second. Added some wood glue and then a little bit of CA glue to add some quick grip to allow the wood glue to dry properly. Once the triangular frame was dried accordingly, I added some walnut splines using the table saw. While the splines were drying, I took the opportunity to make a back for the triangle. I made this at a quarter inch MDF, I traced it out and cut it out on the bandsaw. Use some wood glue to glue it into the triangular frame, inset inside the frame. Once the glue had dried, I trimmed off the splines using the bandsaw and then used the belt option on my oscillating spindle sander to smooth everything up. And now I needed to cut about an eighth inch rabbit into the back of the trim that I'm going to use to hold the glass in place on top of the two frames. To put the miters in the trim, I traced it out using a mechanical pencil so I would be very accurate, cut it to rough dimension using the pole saw, and then used the belt option on my spindle sander to put the miters on. I figured this was a little less aggressive than the chop saw and I stood a better chance of getting it right if I edged up slowly to the proper dimensions. This ended up working out fantastic. To mount the trim, I am going to use wood glue and decorative brass screws. I say decorative because three of the sides for the box and two sides for the triangle are going to be wood glued in place and not removable. But that last side needs to be removable so that I can slide the glass in and out and replace or adjust the flag if need be. Be sure to be pretty gentle with these brass screws as they break off pretty easily since brass is quite soft. I broke off only one, but I was pretty lucky with that. I am going to use a little bit of 5 minute epoxy to connect the top triangle and the square frame together. Once the epoxy was cured, it was back and forth to the sander to put all the trim in place. Once the trim was all installed, I use a card scraper to even everything out and give it a nice smooth feel. And now it is time to add the glass. I chose to use plexiglass because I figured with my luck I would never get regular glass to the proper dimensions without shattering it to bits. For the triangular piece of glass, I cut off a corner from the factory edge of the plexiglass and this worked out great. I was able to true it up with the sander and it fit in place perfectly. Thank you. 
For the square piece, I cut it to proper dimension on the table saw, and it fit right in place. I did need to extend my hand a little bit with a stick to be able to pop it into the rabbit that I cut in the trim. And added a couple coats of General Finishes Armor Seal. I love the way it pops out the grain in your work pieces. To line the inside of the box, which holds the certificate and challenge coins, originally I was going to flock the inside of the box, but it looked like a huge mess. So when I was there looking at the different options, I saw this felt lining with adhesive back. They had a royal blue, which looked a lot like the flag color, and that's what I chose to go with, and it worked out awesome. There was no way I thought I was going to get this laid down properly the first time, but I was lucky. I used a couple dabs of CA glue to glue the certificate into its area and pressed the challenge coin into its display slot. there you go guys i hope you enjoyed that video i know i sure had a great time putting this thing together and it was a great experience having jay bates in the shop to help me get started with this again if you're not subscribed to jay's channel go hit him up and while you're doing that if you're not already subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button so you never miss when i upload a new video please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed everything i'm diy tyler you guys have a good one